Welcome to the server. We're back. Well, I'm back. Well, Mr. Police Strider, mom moderator is back. Better be nice on the server. <laughs> Guys, I've learned so much stuff in the server for the last month. I never ever thought I would know this much about servers and backends and consoles and plugins and all this stuff, but I know now. I've added heads, I've added skins. As I was asking one of the Apex people to come and help me figure out some stuff, he came in just as we learned how to use his skin. I'm like, oh, I like your skin. And I grabbed it and I never let it go. So look, we're active people. We have a lot of things going on. So we're in and out of the server. We're not able to be there all the time. About a year ago, as we started trailing off, some drama happened and it was stressful. It was exhausting. And it was a lot of what we adults call toxic behavior. Now that Police Strider is here, mom moderator, I've been able to put in an active plan to keep our kids safe, to keep you guys safe, and to teach a better etiquette for gaming. Because yes, it can be a positive experience. We've got to unteach some of the negative behavior that happens. And this is where we can do that. It is a creative space. Drama is not allowed in this space. And I've got some very strict rules happening this time around that I've had to already enforce within this past month that I've been here. It was loosey goosey before, then I found out. Then my mom hat came on and I'm like, no, 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 that's not cool. So here we are to let you know, listen, you can come and join, but good behavior. Teach other kids. There's a lot of younger kids coming in. They're coming in with other players for the first time because their parents feel comfortable letting them do that for the first time. So with that in mind and in an effort to keep it safe, I've got rules and I'm sticking to it. And they have mods and I have plugins and I've got a lot of great things to keep us safe. So let's go take a look at that first and hang in there with me because we are gonna also take a look into the Switch and how you can join into the Java server with your Switch, which has been incredibly difficult. And I wanna thank my husband and thank the parents and thank my friends that have been helping me do this. We've been troubleshooting for days and we finally got something going. I tested it, it works. I'm gonna show you on the Switch. That's a little bit later. So let's turn around. Hello, welcome to the lobby. In order to get to our server, you have to go through Patreon. I'll leave a link. It's patreon.com slash the Izzy's, right? Guys, we do it this way so that we can attach names to parents and hold people accountable. We need that accountability to keep this safe. So let's go in. So this is our lobby, right? You get into our lobby and you can go to survival and you can go to creative. Listen, I'm doing a lot of things to kind of encourage this creativity. Can you take me seriously with this hat? I've been adding some plugins. I've been adding some fun stuff and I started off with creative. I'll work on survival soon, but let's go straight into creative. Now to get back to this spot, you go slash lobby and that'll get you back in. We encourage parents to come in with the younger ones to play with them. It's a lot of fun and it helps teach them. And um, once you get on Patreon, I've got a bunch of rules on there that you can read to the younger ones and just kind of make sure that they understand those rules. We're understanding of the younger ones making mistakes. That's totally fine. Ours was three when he started playing, so we get it, you know? I've got mods and plugins in there. So what will happen is there will be a kick or possibly a ban if any big damage is happening and they'll alert me and I'll come get you on Patreon. So we need you to log into Patreon and let me know those names. So this is the creative log. Hobby. I'm set day. Look at everything I've been learning. I will be making another lobby for survival soon. One of the things to have this protection done, we had land claim last time and it was a little bit confusing for a lot of players. I found out there was something called protection stones that have been working beautifully. These protection stones are given out by me. They are Eddie's head. <laughs> So we know what they are. Once you place it down, you will see that you can have your area. Your area will be set, okay? But the thing is, since I already have an area in here, I can merge my areas. And once you place it down, if you wanted to merge it, you just have to come in here and click merge. That's if you want that area merged. It, it's a big world. So try not to put your protection stones in the smaller areas. Go out a little bit and make a bigger area so you can have a bigger space if you want it protected. The great thing is with those protection stones is you can also add friends, family, me, bubs, IGT, dad. 
wait, is he IGT dead? IGT dead with a flag. And all those commands, this is my command board. So all the plugins and commands are gonna be at this creative spot. It's also called Skybase. So once you go slash creative, it will take you to this spot right here. So here are my plugins and commands, the common commands in order to TP to other people, it's slash MVTP, creative, survival, and lobby. Right now those are stuck like that uh, until more things come out. So let's take a look at these commands. Found out you can have pets. It's so cool. You can summon them, you can add name tags, you can have all sorts of stuff and they travel with you to survival. So that's really neat. The cool thing about that is if you take a pet with you to survival, you can fly on your pet and that'll get you around a little faster. So what is the pet? If you have a server and you're looking into add really cool ones, it's called Simple Pets and it's been great for us so far. No bugs, pretty great. I mean, there was one bug, but then I had to anyway. The other thing that we have is something called Skins Restore. So Skins Restore will allow you to do what I did with the surfer guy. <laughs> you can just look at somebody and turn into their skin and go run around. They have uploaded so many skins in this game. It's really fun to be somebody's skin and just run around. Just another fun thing we can do. This one's a new one for me and it was awesome when we found out. So multiple homes commands. You can set a home wherever you go and name it. The command is slash set home, set home, and then you can write home, sky base. Once you set your home, you can go slash homes list. And let's see what my homes list is. My homes list is sky base, that's here. I have a Halloween town that I'm working on soon. Hopefully we'll get that portal up. There's IGT town, which I'm going to take you to. There's Aqua town that I'm going to make very soon as well. So that's how you get to those. And if you have too many, you can delete it, but you have to be at your home. This one's really cool. You can have a bunch of heads. These are the commands to have just some head blocks. They're really fun that you can see them in the IGT town in just a minute. Let's go to protection stone commands. This is very important. This is going to protect your land. You can also add people. Eventually, I'd like it to where we can rent out rooms, you can sell, you can have a tax. Eventually, we're gonna have a marketplace where you can have jobs. I've been looking into this amazing plugin and that's a little bit down the road when I get all this stuff sorted out because it's a lot, you feel me? Protection Stones, it's a very powerful plugin. If you have a server and you don't have it, I straight up suggest you get this one. It's, it's amazing and really easy. So PS view, PS view. We are gonna look into my protection stone. Now the protection stone that I have at the moment will give you 20 blocks by 20 blocks. And I can make that into whatever we want, but right now that just seems legit and then you can merge a bunch. I have it capped, but the great thing about the cap is that I can extend those caps, but the reason why I have it capped and need to extend it is if somebody allows you to be part of their region in their protection stone, that adds as a region for you. So if you look down, I have slash PS view. There it is. There's where I put my stones. You can see the stones through the red so that I can go and find them. My stones look a little different because we've been through a few different things and you can kind of see around where my edge is. Then I made an edge so that people can connect their sky bases to me if they'd like. And uh, that was one of the projects was to have our sky bases up here. The protection stones are infinite up and down, but 20 by 20. So just like I said earlier, if you have a protection stone and you want to merge it, slash merge after you've put it in and then it'll be there. So you have to be in your region in order to merge it. So view it, put it close to the edge and then merge it and that'll give you a bigger space. Right now I'm keeping it low because my fear is obviously making a big space close to spawn, close to other people's and overlapping and they haven't protected it yet. Try to be fair with it. I do have the power to go in and take it away just in case. That just means that, ah, you're a little too close. You can also take it away for yourself by unclaiming. There it is, slash unclaim. All right, let's go back to PS Merge, PS Add Player. Now you want to just PS Add rather than PS Add Owner. Unless you're in that family, Add Owner, you can add other people that way. But if you PS Just Add, then they won't be able to add other people. 
keep it simple, keep it cool, and that's how you can add people to build with you. There's a greeting that'll come in and out. There's a bye-bye that'll come in and out. There's all that information. Listen, the kids that are in there now are very helpful, and I love it. That's the kind of space we're creating here. It is a space to learn. It is a space to help. It is a space to teach. It is a space to come together and have a social interaction with people that have the same interests as you. So again, with that, no drama. Let's go to the rules. What do I mean by drama? What do I mean by drama? arguing. Did somebody do something and they didn't mean to or they did it on purpose or whatever? If you all caps and spam the chat, other people can't talk to other people about how they want to build or how they're cooperating with each other. If you're spamming the chat like that, that's a whole lot of drama. Spamming is not allowed. Three strikes you're out rule with police strider. You can be kicked. We'll kick you out if you're doing something. If you are kicked by a mod, know that that's a warning. It's not a formal warning for me, but it's a warning that, hey, yo, something's not right here. Figure out what that thing is right and fix it. Be kind and respectful. Please be kind and respectful. My kids on here. Lots of kids are on here. Parents are on here. We need to teach the younger ones and some of the older ones how to respectfully game and have a positive experience. If you're having negative feelings coming from our server in this experience, you need to let me know. I need this to be a positive space for creating. No breaking other builds. I've put in a couple of plugins in place. There's no TNT. You can't TNT. You can't add beacons. They lag the server. There will be other things when I learn that they destroy. No breaking other builds. The reason why this is on here and we have protection stones is protection stones are fairly new and there's a lot that's been built on the server. So even if you think that it's abandoned or someone has been banned, don't break their builds. You would be crushed if somebody broke your build. Plus, I like seeing all their builds and we all like going back to our old builds and seeing how far we've come. This one's obvious, no swearing, name calling or spamming chat, right? No advertising or linking on the server. That's an immediate ban. Why is that an immediate ban? That is unsafe. That is unsafe for my kid to click on a server and go to it and not knowing where it is and having that toxic behavior be there or who knows who's going into your server? It's a semi-public server. It's not safe. Do not link whatsoever. No drama, we already went through that. Ask permission if you'd like to build with something. Here's something interesting that's been happening. Ask permission. If they say politely, by the way, no, politely, please say politely. If somebody wants to build with you, you would like to not build with them, even though you may, you may have three people on your build with you. Say, no, thank you. We're kind of working on this together. Keep it polite. And then for those that are asking and asking and asking, you have to respect those boundaries. Respect that the person was like, no, thank you, but thank you. But if you'd like, we can go somewhere else and do something else. We can help you with something else for sure. Be cool about it. This is uh, very important. Ask me for protection stance. I'm on in the mornings quite a bit. So uh, once I see new people on there, I just give them out. Okay. And then everybody on here, they're really great. Ask them how it works and they'll help you. Lots of younger kids on the server. If somebody comes in and they can't chat, they might not speak English, for instance. They might not be able to chat. They might not have permissions from their parents to chat. Their parents, through Patreon, have taught them the rules and we have a couple of things in place to help that. But please be patient with the younger ones, just like people were patient with you when we started early on. It's important the younger ones look up to the older ones and they start learning and that's a great way to teach them how to treat younger ones when they get older and that's the beginning of learning good gaming etiquette, being helpful. And plus, everybody loves it, being positive on here. I love it when someone's like, hey, great job with your lobby strider. And I'm like, thanks, I worked really hard on this. You know, three strikes equals a ban. Hold on. I know there's a lot of chatting happening right now. Forgive me, this is the introduction to the new server. I'm very adamant about it being safe. It has to be. Listen, Mr. Police Strider Mom means business. Like my mom hat is on, this is my mom hat. So I am adamant about keeping this server safe. There's no coming back from a ban. Please be aware of how you speak to people. Things come across weird on text too. So we're understanding of that, but be aware. All caps equals yelling. No yelling. 
okay? So let's look around the creative server. So these are my portals. I forgot what this portal was. I haven't been here to look at it. We've been dealing with the switch stuff for so long. Treehouse town's coming. I really miss the tree houses that we did on the first server. They were so cute. So that's coming. That's IGT town. Why am I walking? Okay, Halloween town's coming and Christmas town is coming and we were gonna do a garden town. I'm not quite ready for garden town yet. Aqua Island's coming soon, all underwater. How fun's that gonna be, right? This is the board that I need you to come and look at often. Strider updates. I just updated this on 817, what's today, 818. I'm working on Switch players joining. That was up until even late last night I was working on that. All right, protection stone written by permissions, Halloween towns, all the portals. And then I completed the database, simple pet plugins. We're gonna look for some more fun plugins. If you have ideas, let me know through Patreon so that I can come back to it. So IGT town, this is kind of where all the older stuff is and it's gorgeous. There's so much wonderful work. This used to be the old creative spawn. I'm making new spawns that'll have rolls up everywhere. This one I've given to a few of the players that have been here for a while and they have done wonderful things with it. And then you'll come and see what's outside of this town. So we are here and I just, look at that. That's one of those head blocks. Is that not cool? They've done such wonderful things with it. Okay, here's another portal I made to get you back to Skybase. But again, you don't have to go through these portals. This is a home set deal. Oh, cute, I haven't seen this. Oh, this is awesome. I'm so proud of you guys. I'm so proud of you guys. Y'all did such a great job with this. So there's an IGT spawn that gives you the rules and updates and whatnot. And then there's the player spawn to see what everybody's been working on. And it's super cool. This is the rules that we're here to begin with before I popped in. Look at that. Oh my goodness, the, the Switch players are coming in. I love it. And everybody's very helpful. Anytime anybody new comes in, it's been great. You guys have been great. Everybody's been like, hey, welcome. Let's show you around. And they'll show you around. It's really sweet. I'm just so proud of them. They're so creative. So many cool things. Okay, let's go out. This is gonna be a real quick tour around creative. We'll do survival when I'm ready for the intro. Um, oh my goodness, I love all of it. Look at that. <laughs> it's so creative, I love it. So there's the IGT down base. That's a greeting, you can take it off. Most players dislike that greeting. That's the one that I put. You can put your own greeting for your own spot when somebody knows that you're in. So let's go take a look. There's so much going on. It's so great. And again, slash PS view will let you see your bounds. Look at all of this stuff. So this is some new stuff, some old stuff. It's so awesome to see all the creativity happen. And I'm gonna continue a Strider series on the Minecraft server since I've taken it over. Now that we've gotten through the kinks, I can start working on stuff again. Gosh, I've been in the background stuff, figuring it out. Texting people, calling people, Apex people. Help me please, I'm a mom and I don't know what I'm doing. This is literally what I said once. And they're very helpful, they're very helpful. Welcome to our Patreon page. It's patreon.com slash This is what you'll see once you come in. Eddie wrote this and you can kind of tell who writes what. I saw this and I've never seen this before. I was like, this is so funny. Cool people only Minecraft server. He turns into a teenager so fast. Let us know your exact in-game Minecraft name. Ooh, this is tricky. If you're on Java, yes. But if you're on the Switch, Bedrock, Xbox, anything Bedrock, I need your Microsoft account. It's called a gamer tag. I'll show you on the Switch where it is, how to get there. Sometimes you have to log into Xbox and get it that way. It's very tricky. So guys, I'm gonna end this here. I'm also gonna do a video about how to log on with the Switch because I found hardly anything that was helpful in a fast way and I'm gonna start making these for other people too. I put a way to do it onto the Patreon. So if you wanna go and tackle that right now, let's go to the Patreon and let me show you where it is. All right, these are my posts. <laughs> this is me. 
taking it over. Strider is taking over the server rules. I have changed everything since I did this. Let me just look through it real good. You know, he's an apology. Okay, yeah, it's still valid. How to add a server for Bedrock. I did my best in my own personal way to try to step by step how to do it in bold letters and breaks. Something that's easy for me to read, which I have trouble like following things. So hopefully you'll be able to get in nicely. We just fixed a plugin and it should get the bedrocks in a lot easier now. And, and I think it works. It's finicky. It's all finicky. Oh, one of them got it to work. Yes, he's able to fly. Here's the other thing. If you're having trouble, get on Patreon. I'm extremely responsive on it because I'm trying to get everybody in and trying to make this work. I will not give up. It will work. It will work. We'll make it work. We are not gonna do another bedrock server. That just kept breaking. It just got to a point where like, we're not on it. I can't monitor it. We're gonna try to make this work, definitely. One Patreon per whole family. It's not about the money on it. It's about keeping people accountable. We need you to be accountable. So give me all of the names. It's totally cool. You go right into the first tab, which is how to join. If you're on Java, super easy. Switch is a little bit more difficult. I'm gonna do a video on that next. If you're coming to this first, go look for the Switch video and you'll see it. Unless it just came out like today, cause it's gonna come out tomorrow. This is where you're gonna post your in-name game right here or your gamer tag. If you are on Bedrock, I need both of those so I can troubleshoot. Cause sometimes I have to go put a UUID. I just found out what that means. Anyway, it's a whole lot of stuff. If you decided for the color, just throw that in there too so I can see it and be able to get that working as well. Well guys, that's it. Come join us. We're on again. We're having fun. It's gonna be a wonderful time of creativity. I'm excited to see everyone's builds and I'm excited to have a positive place where we can all go and just be creative together. So come on in, let me see your stuff. Stay tuned for those of you on Bedrock. I'll be doing a video to kind of walk you through it slowly to get you in. All right, we'll see you guys next time. Bye. You better be nice on the server. Police Strider's coming in. Don't make me put my mom hat on. I don't like to put it on, but I'll do it. We all do it. <laughs>